getting the uh, RM250 all wheeled up. Got the front tire on, new tube. Got a Washougal, well, Kenda Washougal 2 on there. Looks pretty nice. Uh, over here. Got the rotor on, brake helper. I got to rebuild it, take it off, rebuild it yet. And the master cylinder up, of course, on the handlebar. There it is. Got to take that off and rebuild it yet, too. I suppose getting them on there to fit them. Then under the back, we got a Kenda Washougal 2 DC. DC stands for dual compound. So it's stiffer somewhere and softer somewhere else. I don't know where, but that's the way it is. Got a new sprocket. Got a new rear brake rotor. The old one is pretty trashed. Kind of thin, but the real problem I had with this sucker is I had to get some new spokes for it. I had this 18, well this is a 19 inch wheel because I wanted it to be a motocross bike. So I had this wheel and the 18 inch wheel from my other RM sitting next to some muriatic acid. Had a little disruption there. I don't remember where I left off, but. The 18 and 19 inch wheel, yeah, I had them setting up some muriatic acid while I was doing some nickel plating. And it made all the spokes, well anything steel that was remotely close to that muriatic acid just rust. Really super bad. Both of them. So I got these, these are Moose brand, they're like 50 bucks, they're pretty reasonable. They're not the stainless steel ones, they're just uh, coated ones, so. I didn't feel like spending the extra money for the stainless. Even though I probably should have. It was only like 25 bucks more. But oh well. So what I had to do was. This 19 inch wheel. The hub was just trashed on it. These mounting. Mount um, points for the uh, sprocket. One was broke. All of them were all wallered out. All the holes for the spokes were all wallered out also. It was like it was. They ran the, the wheel loose, the spokes loose anyway. So I ended up taking the, this is the hub from the 18 inch wheel. I put it on, on this one. So if I ever do the other bike, I'll have to get a new hub, but it shouldn't be that big a deal. It needs new spokes too, but yeah. So anyway, I took the hub out, did my old, uh, one of my old videos, my uh, cheap uh, powder coat method, which is just header paint. Which, so I sandblasted it. And then uh, put a, what was it, a flat uh, aluminum or something color. And then did a semi-gloss clear, which I don't really know if I got a whole lot of, probably should have put another coat of uh, the clear on there, but it'll work. So, I mean, the, the wheel isn't perfect by any means. It's got, you see all the scrapes and stuff on it. I plan on riding it and so, but you know, a few feet away, it looks, it looks pretty good. So, yeah, and of course I put new bearings in it and seals and everything. I probably rebuild the caliper yet, and I don't. Oh, I might have the new pads in there. I don't remember, but yeah, so I think it's looking pretty good. The next big hurdle I got is um, spending some coin and getting the motor in here. That'd be my big next biggest hurdle. I mean, everything else is pretty much done. Little odds and ends here and there. Uh, it's like this caliper guard. I got. I think I'm gonna buy another one. The, they still have a Men OS. Uh, I think they're 20, 25 bucks. This one's pretty, pretty wore out looking and oxidized. And I tried um, sanding it and making it look nicer but it just I don't know it just doesn't look nicer so yeah just an update and another update I hopefully this video works is I think my third or fourth attempt at making this I've had some uh, editing software problems I thought and so I downloaded well I deleted the program I had reloaded it tried editing the software and it nothing ever comes out right and um, I just 
I don't know. I was having, I was struggling there. I thought it was the uh, the program, so I loaded another program in, a different one, and that one finally told me that my um, videos that I had made were corrupted or too high a resolution. So then I made some more video with a less resolution, but that didn't work neither. Somehow I had my phone on some crazy setting that I couldn't figure out how to get out of it. So uh, I went back into it and went to the, uh, I don't know what you call it, stock settings, <laughs> whatever you call that. I can't think of the word or whatever I want to use. I'm getting bad about that. But yeah, so I think I got it all figured out. Well, of course, if this video was up, you'll know I got it all figured out. See, like the last video I put, I did my, uh, I used my um, um, tablet. The resolution's not as good on that. Even the sound quality isn't as good. And I don't have my little lapel mic anymore as I broke it. So if I get too far away, the volume sucks, even on this one. So uh, that should be it for this one. Just kind of more or less, you know, trying to figure out my uh, camera situation. I mean, I went into a little more depth when I first, the first video I showed. You know, I showed everything how I was doing it and everything, but oh well, all that video's gone. Then uh, I had a bunch of video for the RM465 too, and I can't use any of that neither. So, and I'm not going to tear the bike apart to, to remake video. So, but I'll do a little update video on that maybe in another day or so if this one video I'm working on here comes out good. So, see ya.